I have travelled everywhere around Europe. I have been to so many derbies, but the most requested one I've had is the Dublin Derby. Shamrock Rovers versus Bohemians. I'm glad I can travel over and experience my first Irish football game, but not only watch it, but give Irish football some much needed exposure. <laughs> to Ireland and we're just, our first thought was going to Weatherspoons and Ryan's saying it's rammed. That There's no one in it. We could have gone anywhere but as Brits we had to come to Weatherspoons and we're finished. I know I've been here five minutes. What a city. He's seriously impressed with this city so far. Where are we going later? Jail. The jail. We're going to jail. He forgot to book his flight and he's let's, blaming let's, me for not booking it. It's your fault. So this bridge called the Halfpenny Bridge. Is that correct? It is correct. Any more, any more to I add? Know, I don't really know what it's called. That or what it stands for. So it's not the half penny, it's the half penny. We're on about two hours sleep each. The only thing which is keeping us going right now is this beautiful weather. It's so sunny, so hot right now. Hopefully it continues all day. Next up on the tour guide is the Dublin Castle. Just a square in it. Have you found it? I think it's there. Okay. Ryan's taking us to some football club. Obviously, yeah. Uh, where? St. Patrick's Athletic. There you go, you never thought I'd come here. Apparently they're in the same division as Shamrock Rovers, a fourth in the league. They play tonight, but away from home. This is one of your classic old grounds. Yeah, yeah, just walk in and see where we end up. Sorry for interrupting, but this video is kindly sponsored by the guys over at OneFootball. If you want live scores, live news, up-to-date transfer rumours during this summer transfer window, then OneFootball have got you covered on absolutely every aspect of that. So let's have a look through Brighton on OneFootball and see what's going on for my club. Now basically, we go on to transfers and we know that now Ibasuma has joined Tottenham for 29 million euros, it says on the app. It sounds about right, including the add-ons, which in all, I'm, I'm alright about. But then if we go on the news, then this is where it gets a bit interesting, because apparently we are going to be signing Simon Adingra, 20 years old, an attacker, really, really good. If you look at his goals and highlights on YouTube, and I'll tell you that now, he looks like the next best forward in the Premier League. But you can say the same for anyone if you watch clips on YouTube. But overall, if you search your club up, then it's got all the up-to-date news, you've got absolutely everything on the app, the news stuff. That's absolutely everything. Transfers, up to date, rumours. Trust me, it's free to download as well. iOS and Android. You'll be a bit stupid if you do not download the app. So do it now. First thing in the description. It will help you out loads for the upcoming football season. We're going to be watching Shamrock Rovers today. So they're even there on the app. You got news about it. The game is tomorrow. But overall, for every single football fan, this is the most ideal app. So make sure you download it. First thing in the description. Free to download. iOS and Android. You can't go wrong. This is a proper old school ground. Here's a stand, here's the pitch. It's got two proper stands with terrace at the side, a bit of the character down here. I quite like, this is quite nice, yeah, isn't it? So I bring you some nice places. I'll tell you what, you've done well here. You've got a lot of character this stadium. So we just got a little tour, little talk about this club. I think they are our new favorite team. Shout out to Niall, what a man. I'm gonna have to come here for a game. I'm telling you now, Niall, it's because of him. So number one on TripAdvisor was the Kilmanian Jail. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, a really top class tour. So the news are here, there's police out here. It's all taped off because someone has been shot a few <laughs> hours ago. And we're just standing here. So at 11.30, that was when we booked our tour. We got in about 11.15, because it had to be 15 minutes before. Apparently. Someone was shot at around 11.30, uh, just here. And apparently he was shot in the underground car park. I'm speechless, but I hope, he's the man, okay? He's been taken to the hospital, hospital with serious injuries. I think we should go somewhere else. I have never, ever had a Guinness before, and I'm in Ireland, I'm in Dublin. We've got to try a Guinness for the first time. I don't know, I don't know about the smell, but let's give it a taste. That's not for me. You drank it properly, that's the question. Uh, what, what do you mean drink it properly? How do you drink it? Run it to yeah. him. How do you drink that, it? I don't really like Guinness that much, but I just know from doing the tour for you, Sid, you have to take a big gulp so you get the head and some of the drink as well. You have to get a proper mouthful. Oh, I get a proper mouthful yeah, Not then. just the head. And then that's got the taste as well. No, it still tastes like shit. Okay, we're back in the centre again. We've got another coffee. This is my fourth of the day. It's about 2pm and I'm falling asleep. Where are we? Temple Bar. I don't know where we are, but... Temple Bar it is. So we're in some vintage shop. Ryan, why don't you get one of his high yeah. you And you can be a steward tonight. I don't think it's too much to I'm a big fan of Dublin. This is so trendy. I would come back to Dublin in a heartbeat. Hotel here, stadium next door. View from the hotel room. Look at the stadium. Ooh. 
Not bad, is it? Well, I'm not very happy with it. It's like an hour and a half to get in the room. It's off a sauna. The hand wash doesn't work. They've left the disinfectant in there. You can't open the bulk in here, yeah? You can't open this because of COVID. 319 euros. It's football. We're at a Shamrock Rovers Stadium. Bohemians. I don't know how the game's going to go, but I've got to predict a home win, haven't I? Let's say a 1-0 is going to be tight, narrow, but it's going to be a good experience nevertheless. The first Irish game, hopefully it doesn't disappoint. Here we are. We're through. We'll take that. We'll take it. Tidy little ground. I might see a few goals, so I'm going to go in a 2-2. 2-2? Two -two. Two -two. Oh. Two -two. I'd like to see some goals, so pretty young. I've said 1-0, and I think it will be 1-0. Five minutes to kick off. The atmosphere is starting to, starting to increase now. Most of it is going to be a lot of flair show. Where's the team's going? out, so we'll see what happens. Shamrock Rovers versus Bohem. It's the Dublin derby. They've got a banner going up. And in the away end, you've also got flares. And a banner too. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, banner. They're all going up here. In your way into, they're throwing them on the pitch. They're throwing loads on the pitch here. Three smoke bombs here as well. It bloody stinks, but it's class. I know I go to Eastern European games and it's normally like this, but Irish football, Ireland, is somewhere you don't expect it to be. And look at it. It's a party atmosphere. This is something you can really appreciate so far already. Wow, one thing I've done is these two teams absolutely despise each other. Shamrock Rovers, I must admit. Really bad, any to wake up. Hey, what, I expected the football to be worse than it actually is. Not too bad whatsoever. Norwich got right now. I've got to give it credit. There's not been any goals, but there's been chances. It's not been too bad. Two to be half time, nil nil as it stands. And there we have it, half time, nil nil. I don't know what to make of that first half, but Bohemians were definitely up for it more than Shamrock Rovers at first half. And hopefully we get a goal when it's shooting this way. Let's hope a couple of goals. Oh, what, whoa, 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 whoa. How, how's that not gone in then? Great save for the keeper. Corner ball, it's literally been about 20 seconds. How has that not gone in? Keeper's had an absolute masterclass there, to be fair. He's tipped it away, corner ball, but it should really be 1-0 from that. Here we go. Again, he's got the ball in back stick. Oh, 
the ball. I can't believe how much this game is. This game is two artists. First half was two Bohemians. Second half, two shots of Rovers. I can't remember the Bohemians out of attack. Just like to pre warn you, but this is going in. Just want to warn you. Oh, I nearly called it. These fans have been there. They've really surprised me coming here. And it's improved the experience massively. Really, really impressed by these Irish fans. Samuel Rogers and the Hellions. I've got to come back to more Irish football. I've really enjoyed this. you what the whole experience of Irish Football Week exceeded my expectations but if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like share it to all your friends and I'll tell you what I'll be back soon Ireland what club should I visit next comment down below leave a like subscribe and I'll see you later